हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर मैथ्स क्लास यूनिट इलेवन एरिया एंड इट्स बाउंड्री इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द प्रैक्टिस टाइम ऑफ पेज नंबर वन फोर्टी एट वी हैव सॉल्व टू सम्स ऑफ दिस प्रैक्टिस टाइम सम नंबर ए एंड सम नंबर बी नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद the sum number c now let's read what the question is telling to us a thin wire 20 cm long is formed into a rectangle if the width of this rectangle is 4 cm what is the length now the question is telling us that a thin wire of 20 cm was there means a thin wire or something sorry a thin wire of some 20 cm length was there the length of the wire 20 cm out of this 20 cm a rectangle was formed means they have folded the wire and they have made a rectangle so the rectangle by this wire if we fold the rectangle a rectangle was formed okay now so when the 20 cm wire a rectangle is formed and the width of this rectangle is 4 meter the width is 4 meter but the length is still missing and that we are supposed to find out now so how can we get the length of the rectangle when we are having the length of the wire now understand students when this wire was folded to a rectangle so if we can understand that in the previous video also i explained you the the distance of its boundary this wire met means if it placed so it is its boundary so boundary is equals to perimeter so the distance of this length of this wire is 20 cm so we can tell that that the perimeter of this rectangle is also 20 centimeter so when we are getting the perimeter so by perimeter how can we find out the length that we will solve in this sum i hope you have understood the question now let's see the question question c length of the wire is equals to 20 cm okay now therefore the perimeter of the rectangle is formed by 20 cm wire e is equals to 20 cm now the width of the rectangle Width means the breadth. Width is equals to four centimeter. Okay, the so four centimeter we have got. Now, what is the formula for the perimeter? Perimeter of rectangle perimeter of rectangle. is equals to 2 l plus b 2 l plus b now
Now from this 2L plus B, we have got the width, means bread. We have got this. We are not having the L. So now to find out the L, what we will do? We will substitute the value in this formula. 2 as it is, L we are not got, we will write L, width is 4. 4. And the perimeter what we have got was 20. Now, we know that we will multiply this. So 2 multiplied by L, it is 2L. This formula, by the formula we can get this value. So first of all we know that simple, if I will do, uh, solve the simple thing about, uh, by the formula, the width is how much? 4 times, isn't it? First of all we will tell the width is 4. If you multiply width by 4, 2 times, we can write down here 2 multiply by L plus 2 multiply by 4 is equals to 20, isn't it? Now 2 multiplied by L, we don't know the value of L, so we will leave it like this only. Then 2 multiplied by 4 is equals to 8. Here also we will write 2 multiplied by L plus 8 is equals to 20. Now we got the size of width 8. Now we will subtract 8 from 20 because out of 20 we got the value of 8. So we will write down 2 multiplied by L is equals to, we will write out 8 into 20, 8 is equal to 20, so we will take 20 minus 8, why I have subtracted 8, because in rectangle the two opposite sides are same, if one opposite side is 4, then if the 2 is there, the 2 multiplied by 4, we will get 8, 20 minus 8, we get 12, now this 12, 12 is the total of two sides, how many sides, two sides, which is here 2. The length is how many times? 2 times. So if you want to find out length, the sum of the 2 sides of length will be divided by 2 because we have taken 2 sides are there. So divide by 2. So we will get is equals to 6. So students, the length of the rectangle whose perimeter is 20 centimeter is the length rectangle is six centimeter. The length of the rectangle is six centimeter. And also students, we have got width which is four. We have got the perimeter which was 20, 2 times the width means there are opposite sides. So 2 width means 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. 8 was the summation of 2 sides of width. So we have subtracted it from 20. We get 12. 12 was the sum of 2 sides of the rectangle, opposite 2 sides of rectangle. How many sides were there? 2. So we have sub divided it by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. So the length of the side is of a side of the rectangle is 6 cm. Understood students? I hope you have understood the sum. Okay. Now let's see the D sum. A square carom board has a perimeter of 320 cm. A square carom board has a perimeter of 320 cm. How much is its area? Perimeter is given. What is the perimeter? 320. Now we are supposed to find out the area. Now friends, this is the carom board. Perimeter means the sum of its boundary. If the sum of its boundary is 320, then we are supposed to find out the area of this. In the square students, we know that all the sides of the square have the same measure, isn't it? So by the finding out one measure of the side, we can of the square, we can find out the area of the square also. Now let's solve the sum. What the sum tells us? Let's see. Sum number D. P 
perimeter of carom board square carom board isn't it is equals to 320 so length of the carom board uh, by the parameter we can find out the side isn't it so length of one side of one side of carom board board is equals to in the perimeter how many sides are there four sides so when perimeter is there and we want to find out one side of the uh, of the carom then we will divide 320 by 4 is equals to perimeter divide by side number of sides isn't it how many number of sides are there four number of side okay so is equals to perimeter is 320 divided by 4 now when we divide 320 divided by 4 let's divide here four eights are 32 the zero where it is eighty. So is equals to eighty centimeter. Now we got the length of one side of carom board. is equals to 80 centimeter now therefore area of carom board is equals to for the area l into l so l is 80 multiplied by 80 8 eights are how much 8 eights are 64 two zeros one and two so what will be the area of the carom board the area of the carom board area of the carom board is six four zero zero square centimeter okay what is the area of the carom board the area of the carom board is six forty uh, six hundred thousand four hundred square centimeter is the area of the carom board understood students now we write the last statement is six thousand four hundred square centimeter and its perimeter is three twenty centimeter and see then see centimeter. Another students so this is your sum. These two sums you are supposed to copy down in your notebook.